Gold price hits pre-SVB low as Fed vows to halve inflation with high rates. Gold prices failed to hold a rebound back above $1,900 per troy ounce in late London trade Thursday, fixing around $5 lower at the afternoon benchmark option as global stock markets fell once again with bond prices following yesterday's release of a hawkish notes from the U.S. Federal Reserve's latest interest rate rise meeting. With U.S. inflation on the core PCE measure running at 4.1% on the latest data, a three-decade high when reached in late 2021, but down from February 2022's four-decade peak above 5.4%, participants continued to judge that it was critical that the stance of monetary policy be sufficiently restrictive to return inflation to the committee's 2% objective over time, the Fed minutes said. Well over one in three bets on Fed rates now see the U.S. central bank raising rates again before New Year 2024 of up from barely one in five this time last month according to the CME Derivatives Exchange's Fed Watch tool, and the consensus betting doesn't now see any cut to Fed rates before May. Gold priced in the rising U.S. dollar fell to touch $1,890 in spot market trade overnight just below the low scene at the end of June, and the cheapest since the 10th of March, just before the mini-crisis in U.S. regional banking which took down Silicon Valley Bank among others. Despite U.S. policymakers agreeing in July to raise Fed interest rates again, there are growing signs of dissent in the ranks, says bullion market specialist Rona O'Connell in her review of the meeting minutes for clients of brokerage StoneX. In particular, Commercial real estate weakness came up more than once, notably with reference to risk to smaller forward-slash-medium-sized banks, she adds, wondering if this is reminiscent of 2007, when the Fed delayed cutting rates for fear of allowing inflation to take hold despite the then-snowballing subprime property crash. Over in world number two economy China where the central bank this week surprised traders and analysts with a steep cut to borrowing costs Shanghai gold prices continued to trade at multi-month highs relative to London quotes today, but wider markets face contagion risks, says French bank Natix's senior China economist Gary Ying, from falling house prices, sluggish home sales, and the liquidity crisis, at former giant property developer Country Garden, now owing the equivalent of $200 billion. In unpaid bills while contracted to finish building almost 1 million new apartments across the world's most populous nation. Wednesday's strong U.S. house building and industrial production figures were today followed by data showing continuing claims for jobless benefits rose faster than analysts forecast at the beginning of August but initial claims fell as expected last week. Elevated inflation is continuing to harm businesses and households, said the minutes of end July's Fed rate rise meeting, low-income families in particular. But job gains have been robust, the unemployment rate has remained low, the economy has been showing considerable momentum, and the U.S. banking system is sound and resilient. Against this background, the committee remain yes, highly attentive to inflation risks. So-called real interest rates rose again on Treasury inflation-protected securities on Thursday, pushing the benchmark tips yield at a fresh 14-year high of 1.96% per annum. Giant gold-backed ETF the GLD didn't change in size Wednesday despite the Fed minutes and gold price drop, holding at the smallest since January 2020 while the smaller IAU product from iShares remained at its smallest since March this year. Silver meantime spiked briefly to $23 per troy ounce Thursday, but fell back 30 cents to trade unchanged for the week so far, up from Tuesday's two-month low of $22.23 per ounce.